Hello friends and welcome to my Caribbean kitchen in New York. My name is Ria. Today we're making pastels and pastels in Trinidad are somewhat similar to the pastels, pasteles, tamal, tamales in many other regions of the Caribbean. However, our pastels are made with a tasty, soft corn flour based dough which are stuffed with a savory meat filling of any kind or fish and then wrapped in banana leaves and steamed or boiled. Can't get any more Caribbean than that. I will share a traditional method, then I will show you my secret shortcut, share various substitutions, answering any questions you may have, and finally share tips for making it in the oven. Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss out on the results of the variations at the end. All exciting, so let's start cooking! Just to save time, I'm going to place all these ingredients in the food processor so I don't have to chop it finely with a knife. I'm adding the olives and the capers. And now I'm going to pulse it for a couple of times until I'm happy with the result. I want a smooth paste, something a little chunky, and it's all up to your preference as well. And this texture is good for me now, so let's start cooking. So this here is now very flavorful, the spiciness of the hot peppers, along with the sweetness of the raisins and the saltiness of the olives and capers are coming through. This is really going to flavor our meat. I'm using ground lamb today, but you can use ground beef, ground chicken, ground turkey, ground pork. I know some people also use fish. This recipe is very flexible and adaptable. I'm going to start by adding just a little oil to the pot. You'll need more oil if you're using chicken or turkey, since they are very lean. And now I'll add the ground meat and we're using lamb today as I've said before. The heat is on medium. You know you have to raise the heat when the sound has dissipated a bit in the pot. Nothing's happening so I'm raising the heat to high. Now I'll add the ketchup and green seasoning. The minced ingredients. The oregano, cumin, and salt. And I'll mix it well to combine all the ingredients so it has a lovely color. It smells delicious. The heat is still on high. It looks very festive. And it will also taste very festive. And I'm also adding a little more hot pepper. I'm making this for my sister and she loves it very spicy. It must be burning going in. I'm going to add a little bit of water and then I'm going to cover it and cook for about 20 minutes for all those flavors to mix. Using the heat to low. And now we'll cover. Find that the lamb needed a little extra sweetness, so I'm adding more raisins, about a quarter cup more, and also a little more natural saltiness, so I'm adding about 10 more olives. And that's not in the original recipe because um, because we're using a diff different type of meat, we have to adjust accordingly. So you can't always follow a recipe. You follow your instincts, you follow your experience to get that flavor that you love. It's perfect. Another 10 or 15 minutes and it will be done. We don't want to make it too dry and we don't want a lot of moisture in it at the same time. And that's it. This is done. It's been cooking for about 15 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes, and I'm going to leave a little bit of moisture in here 
because I'll be assembling the pastels tomorrow. Once it's cooled, I'm going to put it in a container, a tight container, in the refrigerator. And now you'll cut the banana leaves according to how big you're making your pastels. I think I'm going to go 10 by 6. So about 10 inches by, well, 9. And I'm going to make all these this size so then it will be easy to fold. Hopefully it will work tomorrow. You can also cut your twine in advance and I'm thinking we may need about 24 to 36 inches. I'm not too sure so I'll tell you tomorrow. Here we have everything ready. Tomorrow will be very easy. I hope. I hope we can find a Pramasa corn flour at this point. I don't have any. If you've added all those wonderful flavors and you still think it doesn't taste good or it tastes bland, all you need is another dash of salt to awaken all those lovely flavors and it will make a huge difference. Then allow it to cool and we will assemble the pastels. A total of 7.3 ounces and 208 grams. We'll add two tablespoons of brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt. We'll mix to combine all the ingredients. Now we'll gradually add the warm water. I'm starting with three cups here. I may not use all of it because I want to teach you the traditional method before showing you my simplified version. And you can make these as large or as small as you like. Let's try this. You know it has enough moisture when there are no cracks in it. And it's smooth. I've divided the dough. It's about 16 ounces total. So I'll make eight with each one about two ounces. And you can use a scale if you want to be precise. If you're making a large quantity, place it on an oiled sheet pan. and keep it covered with a wet or damp cloth so that it doesn't dry out too quickly. You see it's drying out, just add a little more water to the dough or moist your hands with butter or water. Now we'll brush the leaf with oil. Use canola oil or vegetable oil or any oil of your choice. We have our reserved meat from yesterday, which I warmed up of just a little in the microwave. Put a few tablespoons down the middle. I'm gonna wrap this up over. A second, over, and we're going to come up. 
takes a little bit of maneuvering. That's okay if a little is peeking. Practice will make perfect. And now we'll fold. and we tie. Hello? Hello? What's up? No, I'm thinking what are you doing? Hey making pastels for Raya. Huh? I'm making pastels. This is six and a half inches wide. Fill the pot with about 8 cups of water over high heat, bring it to a boil and we'll place the wrapped pastels in. That's about 6 cups of water. And start by wiping the leaf. We shall oil the leaf. Then we'll take a few tablespoons, up it down the middle. Some of you like it big, so we'll put a lot. That's all there is to it. Make somebody happy. I'll put some of the meat in. Place it down the middle. Put this guy back up here. Move, make some space and I'm filming alone today so this is really challenging I'm just gonna put this over here voila and the other side and up and like that and you can just wrap it 
at this point and that's all there is to it my shortcut method the same way you wrap it with foil I'll do one more for you the key is using enough oil here so it can go all wrong okay so that's oiled we'll take a few tablespoons plop it in the center and I really don't expect too many people to try this method, but it's just something that I've been using for quite a number of years. Because I'm not a person with a lot of patience. And my sister requests this every single year. So I had to find a shortcut. And this is my shortcut. Don't tell anyone. Over. Not as clean as the first, but it's still going to be good. Over. Should have oiled it a little more. Forward. And like this. It's not going to look perfect, but once it's wrapped, it's going to be all, all right. Okay, and just wrap it. See? See what's going to happen in there? It's still going to be a little packet. No worries. No pressing. All done. And this is the first set. We only got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, because we made one with four ounces of the dough. Now I'm going to place them in, make sure they're sealed properly, seal side up, and a large one in the middle, and we'll steam this, we'll check it after 30 or 40 minutes, now I'll cover. So here they are, the finished product, and let's determine which is which. This was the one that I wrapped. As you can see, the line is here. Let's open this up. Another one that I wrapped. That is the string from the leaf wrapped. Okay. 
Okay. Let's move on. There is no folding here, so this is the one that we use the paste. Let's see? This one looks softer. And these have been in the refrigerator for a day. I believe this is the one we use the paste as well. It's sad to open them all up, but I'm going to show you the results. And this is the one with the paste, and this has been in the refrigerator. And all you need to do is heat it up. Absolute perfection and so delicious. To heat it up, you can put it in the microwave or in a steamer basket. It'll be nice and soft again. And that's it. Can you tell the difference? Because I cannot. You decide which one will work for you and go with it. Come take this away before you go, please.